tigers are terrestrial mammals that belong to the genus Panthera, a classification that groups the five species of big cats. Lions, jaguars, leopards, snow leopards, and tigers. They are easily recognizable by their unique black striped pattern on a dark orange coat and because they are the largest species of the Felidae family. The tiger is the largest of the five big cats that belong to the genus Panthera. Fiery and imposing, aggressive and powerful, tigers have aroused fascination in humans through millennia, but they have also experienced threats in their natural environment as a result of human activities. The tigers have anatomy with over 600 muscles and a strong bone structure that makes them apex predators in their natural habitat. They can leap more than 30 feet in a single jump, which gives them an advantage when it comes to finding and attacking their prey. And they evolved from their ancestors for almost 2 million years, continuously adapting to their environment. All tigers are native to Asia and belong to a single species, Panthera tigris, which has six subspecies. Bengal tiger, Siberian tiger, Indochinese tiger, Malayan tiger, South China tiger, and the Sumatran tiger. Tigers are ruthless and effective hunters and lonely walkers. Around them, there is a mythology that puts these cats as a symbol of positive values, strength, fierceness, tenacity, and power. Their elegant gait, haughty demeanor, and their dynamic movements are an example of adapted anatomy for hunting. Since tigers are at the top of the food chain, they are considered super predators. Like other big cats, tigers are skilled hunters who make use of different techniques to kill other animals, mainly ungulate herbivores, which are their primary food. When detecting prey, they move very stealthily as close as possible, but at a distance to avoid being discovered. Then they slowly creep towards the prey and jump, taking it by surprise, so it has a small chance to escape. When tigers catch prey, they bite their neck between the vertebrae to break the spine and kill the animal. Although tigers are extremely efficient hunters, they don't always make the kill as you would expect them to. When they can sneak up on the prey, they only have a few seconds to pounce and kill them by biting them in the neck area. They can take down animals much larger than themselves. If you expect to see a streak of tigers, you're not going to get lucky. These cats differ from lions because they usually roam alone. They hunt, feed, and rest without the company of other tigers and lack a defined social structure. However, from time to time, they hang around with others and, evidently, they interact during mating. Tigers have a sociality classification of solitary, but social, which includes those animals that look for food alone, are territorial, but can briefly socialize or sleep in similar locations. Tigers are animals that live in South and Southeast Asia, as well as the eastern part of Russia and China. Some live in temperate climates, while others live in tropical environments. Siberian tigers live in cold climates, where it snows, their heavy fur coat and extra layer of fur on their paws protect them from the cold temperatures. Also, they have an extra layer of fur around their neck that's sometimes called a scarf. This insulates them from the cold even more. Tigers live in different habitats including swamps, grasslands, deciduous and mangrove forests. The type of habitat each of the subspecies lives in depends on its species. Malayans live in tropical broadleaf forests, while Indochinese tigers live in hilly, mountainous areas. Bengals live in rainforests, while the Sumatran live in lowland forests and around swamps. Tigers sometimes migrate short distances to find a larger supply of their prey. Also, they may migrate to an area with less snow and warmer temperatures in the cold weather months. As you can see, tigers live far from Africa the territory of lions. This has led many animal enthusiasts to wonder what would happen if tigers lived in Africa and competed with lions for a meal. The African continent is known for its great diversity of wild flora and fauna. The diverse ecosystems of the continent are home to wildlife species found nowhere else in the world, including some of the world's deadliest animals. Tigers already survive in places like snowy mountains, desert plateaus, dense forests, humid jungles, 
open grasslands, and quite a lot in between. Even though the tiger-striped camouflage performs best in jungles and forests, the woodlands and savannas of much of Africa would not stop this adept apex predator from hunting successfully. Since most prey species do not see a full range of colors, but more silhouettes and movement, the tiger's hunting strategy actually works reasonably well in a surprisingly wide range of habitats. Chasing prey out on the open grasslands, though, could pose a problem for this cat that is more bulk muscle than lean speed. With most hunts never reaching cheetah speeds, many African predators never need to run faster than around 30 miles an hour. Leopards, in fact, do quite well in all of Africa, with a similar strategy of stalking and pouncing, using smarts and power, instead of sheer speed. A game plan that Panthera tigris can definitely get its teeth around. In fact, the whole experiment has already been done. Two projects, both challenged by ethical or financial issues, have released several tigers into protected reserves in South Africa. The Lauhu Valley Reserve Project was created in 2002 by a conservation group called Save China's Tigers. The intent was to nurture and rewild captive-born South China in South Africa and eventually release them into a protected natural habitat in China. This tiger subspecies is listed as critically endangered and effectively extinct in the wild. Only about 100 individuals are left in the world all living in zoos or small protected reserves, and all descended from just six wild-caught individuals. The SCT project has proven that captive-born tigers can easily learn to survive and hunt wild African prey species, and several purebred South China tiger cubs have been born to the successful group. The Lauhu Reserve is now home to almost a full 20% of surviving South China tigers, Creating this ex situ conservation breeding group of tigers outside China has added to the security of the species in the wild, while at the same time, has helped to restore a natural biome to a section of South Africa that had been decimated by intensive sheep farming years earlier. Tiger Canyon, also in South Africa, is another fenced reserve and home to a group of hunting and breeding tigers. However, because these tigers are unendangered hybrids, including inbred white tigers. It has no true species conservation value. Acquired through dubious financial means, the project's ethics were further controversial, since the reserve was created solely to make the film Living with Tigers on the Discovery Channel. Though the founder of the reserve was almost killed by one of these tigers in 2012, the reserve is now run as a privately owned for-profit safari lodge. Despite the controversial conservation value of Tiger Canyon, it has helped the Lauhu Valley Reserve to prove tigers can easily survive in Africa. Conflict with native African wildlife and predators could potentially pose problems for any tigers allowed outside these protected reserves. But tigers in places like India and Siberia have proven they are adept at dealing with other large carnivores just fine. It might take a bit of adaptation, but tigers are no slouches when it comes to asserting themselves and thriving whenever given the space and protection to do so. Another hypothetical but interesting option would be for tigers to be inspired by cheetahs and form coalitions. This model of organization could make them the main force of the savanna and could cause serious problems for the lions. What do you think would happen in this case? We're waiting for your answers in the comments. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you'd like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.